So we got a wonderful night's sleep here at the Blue Swallow Motel. Really cool sleeping in that classic 1939 era hotel right here, right next. A stone's throw away from Route 66. But Route 66, can you hear it? Can you hear it? It is calling. It wants me to get in my car and start heading down the mother road that way. We're headed that way towards Santa Monica, California. Please follow me. And look at this. It is only 422 miles away from the Blue Swallow. As we say goodbye to Tucumcari, they have this giant Route 66 monument. That's supposed to be like the tail fin of a classic car there. At this old hotel alongside the route. Looks like it has been burned down. Some uh, fire here at some point. But in the parking lot here they have the Paris cafe. Looks like it's been horrifically graffito tagged by hooligans. You can look in the window there, yeah. Totally destroyed. Yeah, kind of a shame that people find the need to destroy things. Just senseless destruction. I'm not saying all graffiti is senseless destruction. I appreciate the art form, but the uh, the smashing of windows, the destruction of property, it just seems a bit unnecessary. Wow, more destruction over here at this shell station. You can see the pumps. The pumps were left behind but have been dismantled. I don't know, maybe were people looking for copper? I don't know if there's copper in these pumps. But you can see they've taken pieces of the pump. But I don't know, we can use this as an educational experience. We can see what is inside of a gas pump. The food mart over here looks like they were having a Souvenir sale when they closed down. The store is closed, but hooligans have smashed out all the glass so we can peer in there. You can see the drink uh, refrigerators in the back. All people that love sheep and not goats, good. Sometimes graffiti is confusing. Over there, you can see the truck section of the gas station and then we have a travel center and restaurant over here it's been graffitied and smashed as well just peer inside here oh yeah There's this restaurant booths this was a full restaurant in here you can see the counter refrigerator where they may have had some delicious pies at one point. You can see the booth over here. It's kind of a larger booth right there. I'm sure this was a nice place at one point. Here at Santa Rosa, New Mexico, we have found another 
Route 66 Auto Museum. Now I know the Edsel is considered to be one of the biggest flops in uh, the history of automobiles, but I didn't know that they made Edsel bulldozers. And oh look, it's got a it's got a backhoe on it as well. Oh yeah, there's a little cockpit there to control the backhoe. Yeah, Edsel converted into a piece of heavy machinery. So heading into the car museum here and oh look at this first thing we see in the car museum is a wicker motorcycle uh, it would be fun to drive a wicker motorcycle but I do worry about the safety features see some of the classic cars they have here all right it is map check time we'll see how far we have come started in chicago through st louis cut all the way through oklahoma amarillo and then we are right here the route 66 auto museum in santa rosa seems like we're getting a little closer it looks like you can actually purchase some of the cars here this uh car here is eighty thousand dollars i've lived in homes that cost less than that here is a buick that's a nice shiny car this one is called a Mercedes Gazelle. So we walk through here. Oh, careful, it's kind of a tight squeeze. It said do not touch any of the cars, so we have to walk very carefully and not bump into any of them. And look over here, we have a low rider classic Chevy truck there with the uh, hood open. Oh, and look at that classic cool guy, James Dean. I notice on these Route 66 attractions, you see a lot of James Dean and Marilyn Monroe. I don't know that they actually have any official connection to the route, or if it's just reminiscent of uh, an era. Hey, do you guys remember the most interesting man in the world? I don't know what this is right here. It's a Chevrolet, but it looks to be almost like a pickup truck limo. Look how long the bed is there. off at the Blue Hole. It's a natural spring here in Santa Rosa, New Mexico. 81 feet deep and the temperature is 61, which that is actually freezing. Not technically freezing, but it'll it'll make you very cold if you swim in it. And here it is, the Blue Hole. Oh wow, you can see the water is incredibly clear there. You can see the ridge there and then it just falls off and plummets down there 81 feet that is crazy the staircase leading down into the blue hole and you're allowed to just jump in there and start swimming if you so choose to no one's out swimming today let me at least put my my finger in to see the... yeah it's pretty cold that, that does feel about 61 degrees see there's a diving area People can actually climb up there and jump off the cliff. Walk up these stairs, kind of get a peek from above. So yeah, there's the high diving area. So you look down into the blue hole there. Oh my gosh. Can you imagine jumping off that cliff there? Probably the worst part would be hitting that 61 degree water. <laughs> I did want to do our soda of the day. I bought a six pack of different sodas from Pops uh, in Oklahoma. It's a soda themed roadside attraction. 
and today we're gonna be trying the Red Ribbon brand Orange Supreme Soda. Now I'm a huge fan of orange soda. Normally what I drink is Diet Sunkissed, but uh, I don't know, is this one of those, yeah, these are all, especially sodas are almost always made with cane sugar, which you can definitely tell the difference. It definitely is sweeter. Let's get this cap off. You can give it a, give it a try. Hmm. It's got a tartness to it. Kind of a tart orange. Always a fan of orange soda. And sugar cane, it's fun, it's interesting to say, sugar cane adds a lot of sweetness, but sugar cane also has its own unique flavor apart from just, you know, sweetness. There's, there's definitely a sugar cane taste to it. Yeah, very distinct sugar cone, sugar cane taste. So, I do, I do these videos now on a day-to-day -day basis. So when you're watching a video that I put out, the way I'm doing it now, you're seeing a video that uh, it was filmed the day before. And so, uh, maybe, I don't know, I thought maybe I should talk about current events or things like that since, we're, since we are keeping them current. So, uh, did you guys see when when Will Smith smacked Chris Rock, that was crazy. Stopped off here in Moriarty, New Mexico. We have another auto museum. This is the Lewis Antique Auto and Toy Museum. All right, we got some jukeboxes here. There's some little cars for children to drive. The baby doll there. Oh, look at that. There's a little kitty on top of the truck. Lots of toy vehicles here. I think I remember having this crane at my grandmother's house. Old cars out here as well. Yeah, there's actually a pretty insane amount of old vehicles out here. You see some of these old station wagons here. Buses here have a interesting shape to them. Yeah, some really old cars over here. So this one has a wood frame to it. A semi trailer with a map of New Mexico's Route 66 on the side made entirely out of license plates. Let's see, uh, New Mexico Route 66 has 535 miles, which sure beats Kansas's 13. You can see, I guess we are right here at Moriarty. Route 66 does fork. Uh, if you want to go up to Santa Fe,
This is a very interesting and somber memorial here. It's called the Memorial of Perpetual Tears. And this is this field out in front of us has a number of gravestones equal to the number of uh, DUI related deaths in the last five years. <laughs> Saying hopefully that someday they will have an empty field. And see all these markers indicate a person that has died from an alcohol related traffic fatality in the past five years here in New Mexico. Very, very sad. Very, very sad. All these deaths could have been avoided if someone had been more responsible and been careful. And it's a reminder, definitely a reminder, that you don't drink and you drive. It's just, it's not worth uh, ruining your own life, ending your own life, or doing that to someone else. Now we have entered the city of Albuquerque, New Mexico, here at the Owl Cafe. You can see the giant owl's head sticking out of the top there, the cafe, and it's got neon lights wrapped around the owl's eyes. So this is pretty cool, very authentic looking diner on the inside here. Got an IBC root beer. And they also brought out some beans covered in chilies because in New Mexico, everything needs to have chilies on it. Let's try these beans here with the green chilies on them. Mm, it's very yummy. Ooh, <clears throat> a little spicy in the back of my throat. All right, so I ordered a classic BLT. Came with some uh, tortilla chips and salsa. All right, big fan of BLTs, but I never, never remember to order them. So I just wanted to. Mmm, it's very good there. Yeah. Try some of the salsa as well. Mmm, good salsa, good BLT. You can see along the rim of the restaurant here, a bunch of little tiny owls. Now, I've never eaten here at the May Cafe Vietnamese restaurant, but one thing that separates this from other Vietnamese restaurants is that it has a giant fiberglass Paul Bunyan over top the restaurant. It's definitely a unique choice to have Paul representing the Vietnamese restaurant here. But uh, always good to see Paul Bunyan, and you know you don't see too many Bunyans out here, out west in uh, New Mexico. Very interesting Route 66 sculpture here. See this tiled archway. There's actually a car at the top, completely covered in tiles. As you pass underneath on this turquoise highway, Stopped here at the Dog House. This is a 70 year old drive in, but uh, a lot of people do know it from Breaking Bad and Better Call Saul, which had several scenes here in the parking lot, most of which involved dealing drugs, but I don't see any drugs being dealt here. Seems like, seems like a nice place. And it looks like it's a true drive in. Uh, I saw a waitress come out. I guess you just need to pull your car up here and park, and they'll come out and get your order. So yeah, it works like an old school drive-in. I just pulled up my car in the parking lot, parked, and the lady came to my window, took my order, and I do recognize that I already ate lunch at the Owl Cafe, but I, I, I wanted to try some from the, uh, the famous dog house featured in Breaking Bad. It's got a chili dog, which comes wrapped in paper there. It's got kind of a slightly unique shaped bun. Not quite seen one like that before. All right, let's try this chili dog. Mm. Pretty good. It's got that really thick chili on there. You can see the hot dog has been cut in two. Oh wow. Oh, it's spicy. Everything 
Everything in New Mexico is spicy. You gotta always be on your feet. Yeah, that chili has some definite spice to it. So free. Spicy chili dog. Mmm. Have a drink here. Get my straw. Yeah, one thing any visitor of New Mexico needs to know, any food you put in your mouth is probably going to be spicy, even if you're not expecting it. Outside of Albuquerque, they have a casino themed after Route 66 called the Route 66 Casino. See the hotel there has the awning shaped like the Route 66 shield. And out in front of the casino they have these giant arrows dotting the way, much like the two arrows trading posts down in Arizona. A fill up on gas here at the Route 66 Travel Center right next to the casino. Gas has seemingly been getting a little higher since I've been heading west. It's up to $4.19 a gallon. Here in Grants, New Mexico, they have a Route 66 emblem that you can drive through. So we have the caution sign here, so that makes sure that your car is not too tall. And then you just go ahead and drive through the middle of the Route 66 sign. And if you want to take a picture or videotape your car going through the Grants, New Mexico Route 66 sign, they provided a little selfie stand here. So I'm gonna go put my camera on this and then I will drive through again. Did it look cool? Here we have the gift shop on the Continental Divide. Gift shop right here sits on the Continental Divide. And if you don't know what the Continental Divide is, it divides what ocean the water flows to from this point. So if water were to go that way, it goes to the Pacific Ocean. Water on this side of the sign goes to the Atlantic Ocean. Let me see if I can demonstrate how this works so I'm gonna pour some water here and then this water will soak into the ground go into a river and flow all the way to the Atlantic Ocean however water on this side this water right here will seep into the ground become part of a river and flow that way to the Pacific Ocean Ho hopefully I explained that right so any liquids we see for the remainder of the trip will be flowing to the Pacific Ocean. We have landed in Gallup, New Mexico for tonight's hotel accommodations. We are staying at El Rancho. You see it says the charm of yesterday, convenience of tomorrow. Now you notice there, the hotel sign just changed to an M. We have both a hotel and a motel here on the property. So the sign flips back and forth there, you can see between hotel and motel. Now the El Rancho Hotel slash motel was founded by the brother of uh, director, film director, D.W. Griffith, one of the most uh, largest, at one time one of the largest directors, one of the most important directors in the history of film. His brother opened up this hotel out here in Gallup, New Mexico. And using that connection, they encouraged uh, Hollywood directors to come out 
to this area in New Mexico to film movies. And when they would come and film movies here, the movie stars would stay here at the El Rancho. It, it's like a who's who of names of movie stars that have stayed here. Like, uh, just pretty much all the golden age of Hollywood has stayed here. There's been a, a, a John Wayne, uh, Marilyn Monroe, Humphrey Bogart, they've all stayed here. It's a huge list. So tonight, I will be staying in the room that presumably some sort of famous person has slept in at some point. Walk into the lobby here. Oh, look at this. Got the fireplace and that staircase. A player piano serenading us right next to that old uh, shoe shine booth. Old timey cigarette machine here in the lobby. Get checked in over here at the front desk. Oh, yeah, they have another vintage cigarette machine here. You don't see these too often. So, yeah, they have a vintage elevator here. You actually got to pull open the door. Oh, I think we have to hit the button first. And then how do we know? How do we know when to pull the door open? I hear it coming. All right, I think it's here. Oh yeah. Oh, look at this. Got to pull the, the gate here back. Oh, wow. Okay. So I guess we can close this door. And then we close this gate. And then um, we are on the second floor. Oh, here we go. Oh, wow. See the brick there? Oh, that's pretty crazy. All right. We open this on the second floor and then oh my god oh, oh sorry awesome. it's all right <laughs> you can see some of these portraits of famous people that have stayed here i'm sure if you asked jordan the lion he'd know who all these people are so the rooms here are named after people that have stayed in them we are staying in the jane fonda room wonder if she had ted turner with her when she stayed here Let's see, uh, yeah, we got that real key again with the, um, that classic motel keychain there. And we'll... Oh, it's dark. There we go. And we are in the Jane Fonda room. Oh, there's a, a poster, a movie poster, My Name is Nobody, starring Henry Fonda. Our, wait a minute, are Henry Fonda and Jane Fonda related? And there is our bed right there. Got a little Southwest theme on it, little cowboys there. And then look at this. In the uh, bathroom, we have a Jane Fonda, a Jane Fonda themed shower curtain. So yeah, pretty, uh, pretty normal toilet. Right there, it's a, yeah, a tile, tile bathroom there. Pretty cool. Up here on the wall, uh, it says this is a genuine used cowboy rope. I guess someone's actually used that to rustle cattle. And this hat has a tag on it. I don't know if you could purchase that or, or what. It's a postcard on the wall sent from Gallup. New Mexico to Albany, New York. See, it's been sent there through the mail. My room here is actually right above the lobby. You can look down the lobby from up here. Grab some dinner here in the restaurant. You can see here 
The menu is themed after all the famous people that have stayed here. You see Ronald Reagan right there. Humphrey Bogart right there. You can see it's a Hollywood theme menu. Scene one, appetizers. Some of the dishes are named after famous people. The John Wayne Burger, the Ronald Reagan Burger, the Armand Ortega, the Ricardo Montalban. I ordered the Desi Arnaz, the burrito stuffed with beef covered in chilies, of course, because we are still in New Mexico. That smoky, ooh, very spicy, smoky flavor of the chilies there. It actually asked what chilies you want, green or red, or if you want half and half. So half green chilies, half red chilies. I think the red ones are a lot hotter. And this is the Gene Autry. It has amaretto, pineapple juice, cranberry juice, and grenadine. And I believe we have attained clean plate club status. So thank you so much. I appreciate all of you that are watching along with me and follow me as I travel down Route 66. Feels, it does feel like it's been a while, but you know, we did make a couple stops. So that's to be expected. We are in New Mexico. We only have two more states to go, Arizona and uh, California. If uh, everything goes according to plan, I should be entering Arizona tomorrow. Uh, once again, thank you so much. Thank you. All your support allows me to be able to go on these trips and document them. And um, I hope in some ways I, I'm, I'm doing a good thing, documenting some of these places you know, that may not be here forever or may change over time. At least I can document what they were like in 2022. Uh, if you'd like to support the channel, consider donating to Patreon. $3 or more will get you a postcard once a month. Also, we have enamel pins. They're all in the Etsy shop. All the information is in the description. And uh, until... Uh, until tomorrow morning, this one's in the bag.